Good morning, guys. Yeah, happy to be joined by Winnipeg's newly elected mayor, Brian Bowman. First of all, congratulations. Thanks very much. Of course, all the polls going into last night showed you and Judy Washley's in a virtual uh, dead heat pretty much. But uh, talk us through your evening, uh, many nerves you might have felt as you're watching the results come in. You know what? Uh, we, we were a little nervous. I think the, the most nervous person in Winnipeg was my wife, Tracy. And, uh, you know, we, we never presumed and I never presumed that we were going to win this from the get go. Uh, even even yesterday, there was no presumption. You know, Winnipeggers get their say and they got to decide. Um, I was I was hopeful, but uh, ready to accept uh, a win or a loss. And I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled and uh, really humbled by the size of the uh, the turnout for us yesterday. I was going to ask just how surprised you were at 48%. Yeah, I mean, we, we had felt, I mean, we had started talking about momentum a, a few weeks ago and, and definitely over the last week that we, we really felt something was going on and that we had a chance. But, uh, you know, whether or not we were going to be able to pull out the win, I mean, Judy wassel in particular, she's a formidable campaigner. Uh, she's, a, a you know, an avid community activist and uh, got to give her a lot of credit. And, uh you know, we, we, we didn't presume anything. So I, I, it wasn't until we cracked 100,000 votes that I actually kind of thought, okay, maybe we maybe we do have the win. <laughs> so, I, Obviously a big day here in Winnipeg, but we do have to touch, of course, on what happened in Ottawa. Just uh, a real tragic day uh, on Parliament Hill yesterday. Well, yeah, and you know, it, it was it was bittersweet for us yesterday. And uh, as I mentioned in my remarks last night, I mean, uh, really, uh, really reminds us of how precious our democracy is and uh, my heart obviously goes out to all those affected yesterday it was uh, it was uh, it was pretty sober to, to hear what's going on and uh, that, that's that's not our canada that's not what canadians uh, want to see and and obviously um, I, i'm i'm going to be looking forward to just being able to to hear more about what transpired because yesterday we were we were working pretty hard on the campaign but very very sad yeah, very tough day, certainly felt right across the country. Yeah. Uh, now, from your standpoint, moving forward here, you're a new mayor. You have seven new city councillors. Uh, talk about some of the challenges that could pose for you in the council chamber. Well, I think it's an opportunity. I mean, there's some, you know, working with the re-elected councillors as well as the newly elected, uh, there's some great people that, that Winnipeggers have chosen to put at council. And I think we're really going to have an opportunity to, uh, to change the culture, bring some positive change to City Hall. And I can't wait to get to work with each and every one of them. You get sworn in November 4th. What's the what's the first uh, bit of business going to be for Mayor Brian Bowman? Well, one of the big priorities we mapped out in our 100 days of action is the uh, is the selection of a CAO. Um, but one of the things that I really want to do is is demonstrate that the culture of openness and transparency at City Hall has changed. And uh, we're going to be working really hard, and I'm going to be working really hard to demonstrate that uh, once the transition occurs. All right, Brian, thanks so much yeah, for this. Thanks and very much. Congratulations again. Thanks a lot. Good morning, everybody. Brian Bowman, Winnipeg's newly elected mayor. Let's go back to you guys in the studio.